Quick Post is the easiest way to post your Twitter and Facebook accounts. It allows you to focus on what you're typing, not how you're posting it. So you don't have to worry about things like, is my message going to fit within the 140 character Twitter limit? Um, or how do, am I going to have to post my message and copy it manually to multiple accounts? Um, you know, or I don't have to worry about, you know, if I'm in an area that has no internet, if I'm on the subway or if I'm on a plane, um, that I won't be able to post what I'm thinking about right at that moment because it's going to take, take care of that for me. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the many features that help me with posting to Twitter and Facebook and make it very easy. Um, the first thing you're going to do when you load the app is you're going to have the account screen. And this is where you can add all of your Twitter and Facebook accounts. And you can add as many as you'd like. So if I want to add a Twitter account, I just hit the Twitter thing. And it lets me set some options and also do the, um, the authorization. Let me talk about the options. The first option is a shortcut prefix. And the second one is a default account. So if I set default account, so if I set that to default account, actually I have one already here that has a default account, then what's going to happen is when I'm just typing in WebOS 2.0, I can just start typing my message. And simply just hit quick post without opening the app, without touching the app, and it's going to automatically, in the background, post to Twitter. Um, I can post to multiple accounts as well by using shortcut prefixes. So if I set up shortcut prefixes for all my accounts, let's say I have a Twitter account and a Facebook account that I set up T and F, and of course I can set it to anything I like. Then when I type my message, it's going to send it to it's going to send it to both of those accounts. You can also send it to all your accounts just by typing Z and your message. Let me go back to the accounts. Another thing you could do is you can edit the title of your account. So instead of using your screen name, you could type in anything you like to, to um, identify this account. Now, once you start posting, you can also set up, you can also choose destination accounts as well. And it's going to choose your default accounts um, you know, by default. But I can also change those as well. I can send it to these accounts if I'd like. And I can just start typing my message and do that. And you'll notice that if I, if I select a Facebook account, it's going to show me my Facebook character limit. And if I select a Twitter account, it's going to show my Twitter account limit. But really, um, the, the character limits are really um, something that you don't have to worry about anymore. And the reason why is on the preferences screen, there are multiple ways to compress or split your messages. And you can choose which ones you want to use. So some of the things that it does is it, it'll shorten URLs using Bitly automatically. Um, so you don't have to do that. Um, also, it'll compress your message using various techniques. And it's going to do it in sequence. So as it's using each technique, it's going to check your character limit. And once you get below 140 for Twitter or 420 for Facebook, um, it's going to stop compressing. And some of the things it does is um, replace words with common abbreviations, removes extra spaces. Um, it also does Unicode uh, compression, which is actually a really unique thing. Um, certain characters or certain groups of characters can be compressed into one Unicode character, and it does that. Now, if all the compression techniques fail, your message is still going to post, even if you're below, uh, above your limit, because what it's going to do is it's automatically going to split the message into multiple messages, and it's going to prefix it with, like, so let's say it had to split it into three different messages. It's going to prefix it with one out of three, two out of three, three out of three. And so using the app and also using Just Type, which is on WebOS 2.0 or later, um, you don't have to worry about trying to compress your message um, manually. It's going to do it for you. Um, the other thing um, that uh, Quick Post does is it'll automatically queue your messages when your internet is down. And so if I'm typing and my internet happens to be down, what it's going to do, let me show you. I'll turn on airplane mode and I'll type a message. And when I send it, it's going to queue it to the bottom of the screen. And I have one message queued, and I can do as many as I want, I'd like. And then as soon 
as my internet, actually let me close the app, I can show you your, your app doesn't have to, even have to be open. As soon as I restore the internet, automatically this message is going to DQ. So the Wi-Fi is coming on right now. And in a second, it's connecting. So you could type your message, just put it in your pocket wherever you are, and it's going to send automatically. And there it goes. And it's posted. So you don't have to worry about it. It's carefree posting. The other thing you could do, oop, the other thing you could do is automatically save drafts. So if I'm typing and I select an account and I close the, the app, then reopen the app, you're going to have a draft right there, which I can restore. So the Quick Post is, the great, is a great companion to all of your favorite Twitter and Facebook apps. It allows you to quickly post to all your accounts without having to worry about how you're posting. Thank you for watching, and check out my other apps in the catalog, Geostrings and Music Player Remix.